Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, so today they released the uh, Mortal Kombat trailer, uh, <laughs> which is a movie that is coming out this year. Uh, it's interesting to see how how lately trailers have sort of been releasing just a couple months before movies are going to be coming out. Whereas like a couple years ago, I remember Suicide Squad sort of started this trend where trailers would release like a year before the movie was supposed to come out. Uh, you know, so anyways, um, yeah, I just thought we'd do a quick reaction video. Um, I've been wanting to do a Mortal Kombat video on the channel for a while, um, but I haven't gotten a chance to. So uh, here we go. Uh, warning, this is the international trailer, so there is a lot of gore. Um, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, let's head right into it. I have watched this a couple times. Twice, I think. First learned about this seven years ago. Okay, we got the sub zero eyes. Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. When we got there, it tore through our unit in seconds. That's a cool shot with like the ice coming out. Oh, cute. Oh my god, I've seen this before, but it's still, it's still good. It had the same marking you do, Cole. It's a birthmark. What do you mean? He was born with it. It's not a birthmark, Cole. It means you've been chosen. Throughout history, Katana. different cultures all over the world reference a great Is that tournament. Baraka, maybe? Raiden. I didn't even notice that. Before. That dragon marking? I think it's an invitation. Hanzo Sashi. That's no. pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. That's a cool shot. As, as scary as that is, I don't, I don't, I don't like blood, but you know, as just nasty as that is, that's still a pretty cool shot. With, like the sword going through, uh, and like the blood. I, don't, I think that's a cool shot. I'm Sonya. That's Kano. Okay, okay. So this was something I found interesting. Sorry, I keep pausing here. In that shot, Kano doesn't have a metal eye. Right, so I wonder if it's probably gonna have, and like from the other shot where he is shooting the laser, we don't see the side that obviously would have the metal eye. So I wonder, do you think that it's something that's gonna happen mid movie, right? Sort of like clearly like they're doing with Jax, um, where his arms get destroyed. Um, but what, by the way, we're about to see Jax's new arms. Those look awesome, by the way. I'm, I'm excited okay. to see those. Luke King's, look, yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Liu Kang's costume looks sick, by the way. Like, perfectly accurate to, like, what, MK1. Kung La. Like, look at that. That's awesome. The fate of love is in our hands. Experience a new age. No matter how many of my people you put in the ground, we will not fail. Kill them. What is that? What is, what is this shot right here? Is this reptile we're looking at? It sort of has like a mystique sort of shot. Oh, and then look right right in the bottom right, you can see uh, Melina again. That's pretty cool. And then to the left of, um, of oh, Shang Tsung, uh, you can see uh, that's either, uh, what is that, Sub-Zero or Scorpion? Or maybe we're looking at like reptile or someone. I don't know, that's pretty cool either way. Which, by the way, Shang Tsung looks awesome. I'm not sure what that shot was. I think I walked through the portal panels like, with Awesome Dragon, of course, you got Goro. That's an MK move right there, MK11. MKX, sorry. That's cool. Maybe it's cool. Yeah, that's cool. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this part. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, um, this movie looks pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, this does not look like it's gonna be a good movie. Um, but I'm still, you know, excited for it. Um, considering, you know, I never got to see the originals in the theaters, obviously. Um, but, uh, you know, I've seen them on Netflix. Um, I don't know if they're still on there or not. Um, it, it just looks to me like that they're gonna be focusing on, like, a story. Like, like a, a lot of the movies of the last, like, two decades have been very focused, if, if they're a video game movie, focused on, like, creating a story around it to try to explain, like, you know, like, what's happening and why. But, like, video games and stuff, it's kind of hard to explain why. I feel like they should just focus 
on what they're given. Try to build a story around that, and from there, they should be able to create a good movie. Um, but if they're always trying to do something else, like, oh, um, you have this marking that is supposed to, like, invite you to this tournament, which, yeah, is sort of similar besides the marking to, you know, what the actual lore of the games are. But I feel like a good example, um, it's sort of like the Godzilla movies, in my opinion. Like the, the 2014 one and, and King of Monsters, where, like, they have this story with, like, the humans, like, oh, we're trying to do this, we're trying to do that, we're trying to... It's just like, it's not good, <laughs> you know? I feel like, and, and I'm pretty sure the 2014 Godzilla movie only had like 16 minutes of actual Godzilla screen time. Like, that's ridiculous for a movie called Godzilla. Um, so I feel like if they were to just create a movie based off of, you know, around the character of Godzilla doing Godzilla things, it might be better. But again, I mean, you know, for all I know, they are focused on, on the characters, and this side story is maybe just going to be in like the first, you know, opening act of the film, so... Either way, uh, it doesn't look that good, but, you know, maybe it'll be good. I just thought we'd do a reaction to it. Um, Justice League, the Snyder Cut, also uh, released a trailer, but I didn't get a chance to react to that uh, in time. <laughs> um, and so did, speaking of Godzilla, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, so, lots of, lots of trailers going around recently. <laughs> um, keep a lookout for my uh, Cold War video, which will be coming soon. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.